Hello and welcome to a new video about the barbecue controller. Yeah. First step is to get this this AC uh, ADC AC <laughs> Enlarge Digital Converter running. Yeah. I have here my Enlo Digital Converter I already placed it there, I soldered it. Uh, I have here my Arduino Uno, my Uno board. So I just have to wire this, and therefore I need plus five volts. Mm -hmm. uh, going to VCC here. All right, this was easy. Probably I should look if you see it. Nah, does not really look great. So I will use a shorter, shorter wire. Plus five volt to to here. All right. Then ground to ground. Good. And then what is what do I need to to use? SCL is A five. I always forget this. SL is A5. A5 is SCL. Right. And A4 is SDA. This is the bus I've connected. This address I don't need. I am using the default address. The default address is must be written somewhere in this documentation, right? Four eight hexadecimal. All right. Four eight hexadecimal. So this is the wiring between the Arduino board and the ADC. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use here potentiometer, dropping some wires, potentiometer, right? Just place it there somewhere. I have plus, I have minus, and I'm I'm using cables of this potentiometer so that I that I can simply have it in my hand. So this is minus, Click. then plus, 5 volts, and then we have the green one, I will use analog input 0. Uh -huh. So this is now my potentiometer. Good. Now I'm going to plug it and see if it's going up in smoke. Mm -hmm. Bim, bidi, bim. Everything is fine, it seems. Okay, something is done by the area, it's blinking. Whatever program is on there, I do not know. Good, so that's that. Hardware setup. Now let's come to the software part. Let's come to the software part. I will produce a new project. Mm -hmm. How do I call this? Why do I store it? Where do I store it? I will call it ADC test. Looking good, looking good. So I need to install a library. I need to install a library and this library is called uh, some error message, I don't know. Okay, add library. Mm. 
download and install Arduino library. This should work. Okay. All libraries installed. Library manager. I've never used this here in 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 Visual Studio. Good. Oh, I, I'm going to search uh, ADS1115. There must be one by other fruit. We this other fruit is called ADS. X15. Aha, here it is. This I'm going to install. Alright. Fresh. Here, this I'm going to use. Okay, now it is included. Now it is included. I have this other fruit. Okay. I also have to include the wire library. Wire, wire, other fruit, all right, and then it's called other fruit. This is my analog digital converter. And then I will have an integer uh, ADC value, all right. Setup, I will make a serial dot begin. And I will make a ADC dot begin. This is starting my ADC. Yeah. And here in loop, I will just read in ADC. value equals adc dot read adc single ended this should be the correct and i input number zero i've connected to zero all right i've connected to zero and i will say zero dot print analog value Zero dot print line ADC value and then I make a delay 500 that I'm not flooding this stuff and according to this this should already work <laughs> so I do you know no Con three. Upload this stuff. Let's see what is happening. Mm. 
Mhm. Another really one, two, one, two. Is this really at one end? Let's see what is happening. If I'm going to turn this here. Who's doing? So here is zero. I am at Yes, I'm at ground, and the other end is 26,340 26, I've seen. Let's see what this means. We have a 16-bit ADC, right? We have a 16-bit ADC, so if I start here my calculator, uh, if I start here my calculator, 16-bit ADC, this means I would have 2 raised by the power of 16, this is 65,536. What is this 26,000? This is not, this is even, ah, there's maybe a sign. There's maybe a sign. So maybe it's only 15 bit, 2 raised by the power of 15 is 32,768. Hmm. 32,768. This would be 5 volts, right? This would be 5 volts. Of course, maybe this is not the perfect, perfect potentiometer. I will try to wiggle it a little bit, left, right, left, right, because then usually it's cleaning, it's cleaning the... Hmm. Let's see what I can, what I can change. Because usually I should be able to configure this. Let's have a look in the program. Let's have a look in the program. What can I do here? ADC dot. Set gain, get data rate. Set gain, what this meant? Gain.
Do I what is happening? Which gain can I set here? Gain settings. One, two, four, eight, sixteen. Two-thirds, aha, two-thirds, it seems like I probably have zero, zero, this should be zero, I'm 6.144 volt is the maximum, aha, I have to select, I have to select uh, the input range and probably I have this 6.144 volts, 6.144 volts is uh, 2 raised by the power of 15 we have. Eh? And the plus sign is 16 bit. 32,000. This is 2.144 volts divided by 2.144 multiplied by 5. 26,666. And what do I have? Twenty-six thousand two hundred. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. Aha! So it's the reference voltage. I can select the reference voltage with these gain factors. I just assume this is like an Arduino that five volts that, that, that they are always going to the VCC. But no, we have to select here. Uh, the reference voltage and this is can be selected between 0 to 256, 0 0.51, 1 1.24, 2.48, 4.96, and 6.144 volts. And I've selected 6.144 volts, and therefore, if I put in 5 volts, I have not reached this full 6.1, so I cannot see the maximum value of my analog value. Now everything something is, is even even worse here. Cables. Alright, so this is how this is working. Alright, so now I know how this ADC is working. Next step is then to include my 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 grill thermometer. Alright, this would then be the next step that we have a value from my grill thermometer. I have really to think how to connect this to the ADC in a temporary way. Maybe I will just clamp on here some some wires. This is probably a good idea or not. We will see. <laughs> we will see in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.